It is 7.01 on December 14th, 2020. I'm going to welcome everybody to the Board of Supervisors meeting. Uh, joining our Zoom meeting this evening is myself, Jim Marks, the chairman, Spencer Claypool, vice chairman, Supervisor Harvey Greenwald, Supervisor Rebecca Elliott, and Supervisor Rick Sheeler. Joining us also is Erica Badorf, our township manager, and township solicitor Dan Sager is on the call as well. So at this time, I'm calling the meeting to order and I'm gonna ask if, uh, if I have a motion to approve the minutes from November 23rd, 2020. So moved. Spencer made the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Rebecca seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Bills, we have unpaid bills totaling $73,070. Um, since the last meeting, we have a list of paid bills and payroll totaling $201,114. Do so I have any comments or questions on the bills from the board? Hearing none, do I have any from the public? Please, um, payables were posted to the township website for anybody to view. If anybody has a question on any of them, please unmute yourself and ask your question. Okay, hearing none, uh, do I have a motion to pay the $73,070 and acknowledge the $201,114 of payroll and paid items since the last meeting? So I move. I think Harvey made the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Rick seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mm. And the bills are paid and approved. Developers' bills. Anybody have any comments or questions on the developers' bills? The only one I have is um, are we doing anything about what's owed for Bentley? That's quite past due. Yes, it is. Just to follow up on that, um, I have been in touch with. Uh, uh, legal representation for uh, Mr. Bentley this past week. So um, I am working to uh, address that with the applicant. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, hearing no other comments on the developer's bills, we're going to skip over subdivision and land development as we have nothing. We're gonna skip over old business as we have nothing at this time. So we're gonna go right into new business, which new business is approving the meeting dates for 2021 for all boards and commissions. Uh, does anybody have any comments or questions on the, the meeting times and dates that were presented in the packet? Open space will meet tomorrow night and we'll review the dates and times at that time. At the, at the current, I don't see any changes unless, uh, I don't know if Chris, Chris, are you on? Uh, have any comment to further on that? No, we've uh, circulated it informally. And, right. Uh, these dates are, seem to be good with all the open space members. So I expect approval tomorrow. So with that said, I would say move ahead with it. Okay, we'll make the motion contingent upon approval of the open space review boards uh, meeting tomorrow night for their meeting dates, um, which won't be a problem. We can just wait a couple of days. It'll be a few days before these are advertised. So at this time, I'm going to ask for a motion to approve the uh, 2021 meeting dates for boards and commissions in the township. So move. Rick made the motion. Do I have a second? Second. Spencer seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> okay, moving on to uh, public works telework policy. Uh, Eric, I'm going to let you take over this one, kind of explain to Certainly. the board and the public mm -hmm. what this is, where it came from, and why we're doing this. Sure. Um, so due to COVID, the Family First Coronavirus Relief Act was put in place. That act provides certain entitlements for COVID events for employers. Uh, so there are, there's paid leave um, for about two week periods when an individual 
um, is ordered to quarantine, has COVID, is treating an, uh, the illness of COVID and working through the, those issues, um, there is a partial entitlement, two thirds pay for individuals um, that are dealing with COVID in a way that they are obligated to care for a child whose school is closed due to COVID related to co concerns. Um, they're also caring for an individual uh, that has to self quarantine. In those instances um, where individuals can do uh, care for that individual um, and also telework for the administrative employees at the township, there is some flexibility to do that and to monitor um, the telework uh, that is provided for. Uh, for the road crew employees, um, this opportunity to telework and the telework policy enables employees to exercise an option to tele telework and also care for that individual uh, who may be in quarantine or a child that is in school um, and the school shut down or there's a remote work and a remote school environment and to enable training to take place at the discretion of the manager, the road master and the township manager to review that. Um, the the uh, federal coronavirus CARES Act and the paid leave, the partial paid leave entitlement um, is something that is in place today. So if an individual employee exercise that request to have intermittent leave for that reason, we would review and request um, or look at granting that given those conditions and the federal law that's in place this is an opportunity to pay the employee that works in public works to take um, uh, PSATs, PennDOT, OSHA, MS4 training uh, within their job description and meet those guidelines while also having that opportunity. Um, I should mention that this act is through December 31st of this year uh, given the nature of the environment right now, we'll be monitoring this closely. And I understand that, um, you know, the, the process is in place to look at extending that, um, but we are monitoring that closely. So we have put this draft uh, policy together of the qualifying telework events, which matches the federal guidance. The description of telework is uh, included. And then the procedure of filling off filling out a form for the roadmaster for uh, in, in, consult, in con consultation with me, we want to ensure that the operation of the Public Works Department continues and is satisfied. Um, but at the same time, as we all know, there are factors um, outside of our control that are really complicating situations. So this would meet um, the federal guidelines and also um, could provide a benefit of employees catching up on uh, truly important training and, and education that is part of their role. So we have submitted that for review and certainly available for questions. Anybody have any questions? Is uh, telework a new term? I'm not that familiar with it. It is, uh, it is working remotely, so not in the traditional office setting and doing that from uh, your residence, from um, any other remote location other than the location of the township building uh, itself, the physical plant. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to be looking for a motion to authorize the township manager to implement the Public Works Department telework policy as presented. Do I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Harvey makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Rebecca seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 And the policy is enacted. Administration supervisors reports. Rebecca, do you have anything this evening? No, I don't. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rick, do you have anything this evening? I do not. Other than um, open space meeting tomorrow, um, it's posted on the calendar on the, the township website uh, for um, the login, seven o'clock. Okay. Harvey, do you have anything? Nothing. Spencer, do you have anything? Uh, nothing tonight. Okay. Thank you. And I do not have anything other than to mention that Planning Commission is holding a meeting this Wednesday night. That'll be available on Zoom. Um, I believe that Zoom info has been posted on the calendar as well. 
Erica, manager's report. Sure. Okay. So <clears throat> COVID, uh, we have rising cases in the Commonwealth. Uh, and as you've likely noticed within the uh, media outlets, the COVID mitigation measures in the Commonwealth uh, have increased. Some are uh, being implemented again, as we have saw uh, in about April time period. Uh, the closure to indoor dining, gyms, and indoor entertainment is in effect now. There's also a 50% capacity for uh, retail establishments, and indoor gathering limits have reduced as well. So uh, please visit the governor's office for all that specific information. In addition, uh, the township does have one confirmed uh, case of COVID mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. been managing and dealing with. Uh, we are responding in accordance with Chester County Health Department and CDC guidelines to uh, to certainly address that and work with the appropriate officials to ensure the safety of uh, our staff and of the residents. And in light of that, we have closed the township uh, building administrative office uh, to the public. And we have also implemented remote operations for our administrative staff. Um, so we are doing that and we'll be monitoring things. This is something we are seeing as far as um, other municipalities uh, taking those precautions given what is happening right now with um, different cases. And uh, same thing, we're watching schools, education, uh, and trying to respond accordingly. And because we do know that the remote operation can work with our various outlets, we're back in that mode um, and doing the best we can to meet everybody's needs. So we have that in place right now. And uh, you know, just to address the fact that we do have a storm coming up and we are making plans to address this imminent winter storm uh, just as we would uh, you know, address any other situation that may come up in the township. RSI, the survey is still open for uh, recycling and uh, operational input regarding the, um, the operation at RSI, what it really could be as it is closed to the public right now. And they're looking at a new business plan that is on our township Facebook page. <clears throat> And we have holiday closures coming up. Um, that will be Friday, December 25th, Monday, December 28th, Friday, January 1st. Our last board meeting of the year is December 29th and reorganization. That meeting is January 4th in 2021. That's my report. Thank you very much. Dan, solicitor report. The only thing I have is we got in the mail today um, the Laurel, Laurelwood Road uh, appeal, the uh, tax assessment. Um, it's my understanding, Owen J hasn't um, been involved in it. And it's my understanding we're not going to be involved either, but we get noticed because we're the township. Um, but I just wanted you to be aware of it. I will send a notice to Erica so she has it for the file as well. Thank you. That's all. Thanks, Dan. Public comment. This is a portion of the meeting where the public gets to comment. Uh, if you have a comment you'd like to offer, please unmute yourself, identify yourself, and make your comment. Hey, Jim, this is Patty Worth. I just had a question. Yeah, hi, Patty. How are you? I'm fine, Jim. Thanks. Um, I noticed that there were some uh, pink survey flags cutting across the field, the little um, Upper field of Coventry Woods by the Stubblebine House. And I was wondering if anyone could let me know what those <clears throat> what those mean. I'm not aware of <clears throat> anything at Stubblebine. I'll have to look check into that, Patty. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they're sure. just the, the, the tiny little, you know, that you usually see with some sort of utility marker, but they're mm -hmm. they're right caddy corner across the field. So Okay. Thank just you. Curious. Thank you. Uh, I just, I know the pavilion was running out over the weekend. I don't, I don't know if it had something to do with that. Maybe a race or something. Check into it. Thanks, John. Anybody else for public comment? Uh, Brian McNamara. Hey, Brian, how are you? Pretty good. Jim, how would somebody communicate with the, uh, municipal department, the sewage department about, um, 
I guess they got a serious infiltration problem at the, uh, the uh, I guess it's Creek Road and uh, oh, I guess it's Laurelwood and Creek, not Laurelwood, um, Sheep Hill and Creek Road. I've got some, I got some photos of it and it's pretty, pretty bad. So who, who, who do we, how do we contact them? I'm not sure what you're explaining that you're seeing. Why do you think it's sewer department, municipal department? Well, there's there's two manhole covers there that say they're sewer. And in that rain we had, I guess it was two Mondays ago, the manhole cover was floating maybe six to eight inches up okay. off the ground with water coming out at a prodigious rate. Okay. Why don't you email the photos you have to Eric and she can see if it's a municipal problem or a township problem and she'll direct it to where it needs to go. Okay. To Erica. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Brian. Thank you. Yep. Any other public comment? Okay. Hearing none others. Um, 21 people joined us this evening. Thank you all for uh, joining us, we are going to be holding an executive session for the purpose of personnel uh, and also for real estate. So I'm going to ask our open space review board chairman, Chris Washburn, to, to stay on this call and join us for, for that part, portion of the discussion. Um, everyone else, I just want to wish a uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you. We'll be back uh, on the uh, Tuesday night, uh, the 29th, seven o'clock, the Zoom link will be posted um, prior um, with documentation and agenda before the holiday. But just want to wish everybody, um, you know, a safe and happy holiday. Enjoy it the best way you can this year. And good night, everyone. Good night. Just, the board just came out of the executive session. No actions were taken. Uh, no motions made during that meeting. And at this time, we are going to adjourn the meeting. Good night, everyone. Merry Christmas. Good night. Good night. Merry Christmas. Good night.